Ooh, what's up guys, and of course, welcome to another news video from yours truly, The Scavenger. And today we're going to look at the news that hit us previous week, I'm sorry I'm a bit late about that, but then again, you guys already know it, so we're just going to discuss what has been introduced, and also, if Nintendo are looking to flag this video, please don't. I only flagged three of my previous videos due to that. I'm going to just use snapshots, because I can't use full videos, because it gets blocks all over the world. Thank you for that. So anyway, let's look at the first mon introduced here, being of course Executor to becoming a Dragon Grass Alola form Frisking Executor. Um, I don't know what to say about that, it's an hilarious form. I mean, one has to say that, you know, the guy that Game Freak really knows what they're doing sometime. Now, I always thought that Executor was, uh, I'm not gonna really say this, I always thought it was uh, a pineapple, so seeing that it was a palm tree, Makes sense to make it bigger, and uh, this kind of confirms too that we're probably not going to see it in Mega Force. But Game Freak are definitely know that older mods need to be re readapted basically, and I think this is a great way of doing just so. I really like Executor. Uh, I mean, Dragon and Grass type definitely new. It is a Mega Sceptile sure, but as a standalone typing, it's one of his one of his kind, and yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to see what they're gonna do with it. Um, we saw it use uh, some kind of slam move, but that's about it. Uh, but Executor definitely was a big, big news. The next Pokemon we're gonna introduce here was actually, I remember correctly, in Vulpix and Ninetales, changing form completely from Fire type to Ice type, and Ninetales getting the Fairy type into it. Now, this is also interesting because they actually making Ninetales unique by giving it the Ice and fairy typing, which is unique, of course, till now. Now, with that said, um, it is not the best typing. It's a good offensive typing, mind you, but it's a bad defensive typing. Uh, bullet Punch basically cleans this guy, but at the same time, offensive presence can matter, and it's not like you're gonna stay against a Steel type with this one anyway, as far as I know. I hope it keeps Nasty Plot, uh, and I hope he gets a good hidden ability, because he actually got only Snow Cloak at the moment, but I do believe he'll get Snow Warning, or even Funnier, I would say that it would be great if he get a Cap Grot, um, and have access to the like of a Weather Ball. But then again, you know, it's all speculations, I really like what we're doing with Ninetales here, they're definitely, like I said, they are responding to what people have been wanting. People are liking Ninetales, I've never been a big fan out of it, but um, then again, that kind of uh, fox uh, with nine tails are a very very Japanese thing so I can see why they like it. And this, this was a big news for me, Sandslash becoming Ice Steel type. Now I know that is also in theory a bad typing with four times weakness to fire and fighting, but outside of that the only actual weakness to ground, so Steel type is actually a good combined typing to Ice. It makes it somewhat more manageable and uh, just overall, kind of nice offensive typing. Now, I do hope at the same time here that we got to get something like Hail Rush, or that they keep the Sand Rush ability, uh, since it actually is immune to Sand from the first place. It's actually immune to both weathers. So, um, it's a mammoth one with inferior typing. Now, we will have to see what this mod really can bring. Um, Sand Slash been one of my favorite mods from first generation, and this definitely sparked an old flame in me. And uh, I really want to see what this guy is all about. Sandslash, like I said, one of the more well forgotten Pokemon, really. It's a good Pokemon, but Excadrill is so much better. So seeing this becoming a Steel type 2 to kind of rival it, or not rival it, but at least being a part of dealing with it, very, very cool, really. And this is, of course, follow up with uh, Mud Spray from, which is gonna be an evolution to, or what's it called? Mud's Dale, if I remember correctly. Um, nothing to it here, I kind of expected it to have either been a single evolution or having an evolution before it. So seeing Mud Spray, nice. So now we have a Zebra, we have uh, Rapid Dash, of course, a, a Pony, and we got a Donkey that turns into a horse. So, um, you know, we have that going for it. Very interesting, and um, yes, this, this mod looks really solid. Like, we needed kind of something like a Powdown uh, at least one more time here. Yeah, I really like this mono ground type, which definitely just stand tall on their own, and I think this guy is going to be one of those. Now, granted, we don't know the stats yet, so 
all in all is just speculations and we have to see what hidden ability is gonna bring as this goes on but it looks like to be a pretty properly buy life mine event then uh, this is followed up with of course the new Pokemon which called the Informantis which turn into Lurantis. Solo grass type, which is kinda bad. Um was really hoping this thing would be since it's based on Mantis, it would be kinda make sense if it was based at least a little bit uh, of um, a bug type. But you know, it is what it is. One thing I really hope this thing gets, because right now it only have leaf shield. Uh, but I really like, or really hope it gets chlorophyll or uh, draught. I really draught is probably what I'm gonna go for because it learns a move called Solar Blade, which is gonna be a physical solar beam. Now, with that said, that would be extremely interesting if it got chlorophyll, so you could spam that move together with Weather Ball or anything really. And uh, really hoping for something like that. And uh, this Pokemon could be extremely interesting as it gets introduced. As of right now, we don't know anything about it. Also, we have a single grass type. We've shown a lot of those are already, and they're not too impressive as a typing. This course followed up with Gumshoe, which been evolution of Young Shoe, and it looks like it's the final evolution. It probably is, and, and of course, this is a Rathada, Furret, Centret ish evolution of the generation, and uh, it's left Stakeout. So now it kind of looks like it could pull that off. Stakeout, of course, been a unique ability for Gumshoe only as far as we know, of course, and that is that any mod that comes in on a switch in, or if you kill a mod that comes in on a switch in, because it's gonna hit, get hit by double the damage. Now, that sounds kind of broken, but then again, you know, Gumshoe is a mod that, as far as we know, are not as impressive. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm not thinking I am. Uh, I think it's gonna be a generic Radicate Pokemon, and for what it's worth, it looks at least cool. Uh, I actually think this looks extremely uh, proper for the generation at least. So, for what it's worth, Gumchu looks the part, and I really want to see how this is gonna develop as the time goes on here. Then we got to see Minior and Minior's core. Yes, they're two separate entities, at least in battles. We don't really know what that means. You got the shield down ability, which makes it immune to status effects as long as it has the rock typing or the rock um, shield around it. So, once that rock shield kind of breaks out, it turns into Minior's core. I'm pretty sure it changed ability with everybody. And uh, I really hope it turns into something very, very speedy. Uh, now, the flames on its eyes looks like it's on you know, the crazy eyes, basically. But I think it's gonna keep its flying typing or rock typing, and then, due to which form it is, going to have a new typing and bone to it. But we don't really know what that is, and the colors really doesn't help out all that much with all speculations they really have to reveal what this niche is but i really like that we're giving introduced to pokemon that has more than one thing going for it so minus score a plus a plus and then we get to what people think are the best part about this trailer outside of course hello and executor but that is the oricorio unique forms uh, oricorio is a, now a new flying pokemon is introduced which have four different typings depending on which island they're recording, or which nectar they're drinking, basically. So we got Fire Electric, Psychic, and Ghost typing and born to them. Very, very interesting stuff, really. I think it's a good way to kind of lean into that there are gonna be four different stature typing depending on which island you are in. So, for what it's worth, I really like it. Um, outside of that, it has a new ability called Dancer, which means every dance move is gonna copy and retaliate back on it. And pretty much not snagging it, but using it against you, such so using Quiver Dance itself while you're setting up. So poor, poor, poor Volcarona. But yeah, looks nice. Um, really want to see what they're all about as they're introduced. And the last part of this trailer was, of course, the new way of attacking. Now it seems like every Pokémon has one chance of using C moves once per battle, and I think uh, it's going to be something like the. Like the Mega Evolutions are that you have to have an item on you to be able to use them, of course. And we don't really need to see, you know, what levels their Pokemon are going up against are at, um, or you know how much the damage output really are. And we don't, we only saw, we see the, you know, the or the Pokemon just fainting. Basically, we could assume that they're all are level 15, um, and they're basically just dying. So with that in mind, these moves should be around 200 base power or even higher, even 250, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically what they're all about here, 
so there seems to be some kind of desperation moves. So for what it's worth, they look really, really cool and could be a very interesting part in this game, if anything. Um, but yeah, outside of that, we don't get to know much, much more. Uh, they have revealed other stuff, and they, you know, they showed obviously that there's a new way of battling potential gym leaders. And uh, yeah, it's all fair and dandy. Uh, I really want to see what they have in store for us. But uh, as of this introduction, they haven't really showcased anymore. There have been possible leaks um, about the whole complete Pokedex. I'm not. I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt of the, as of right now. But um, it seems like a few other things has been uh, revealed that should have been revealed, such as of course the final evolution of the starters. Now they could be wrong, but they are so close to be the real deal that it's not even funny. Uh, <laughs> it actually isn't even funny. The thing is, the game should already be done at this time. There should definitely only be, you know, the translation part really back at it. I'm pretty sure it's all failed this. Failed this already. Joining uh, again. Um, so everything that gets kind of um, leaked, we one could kind of go for our legit. But I'm going to, you know, stay in my dream world and realize that that Pokedex that was introduced to people hopefully is wrong because I can't deal with it if, if it is true and I won't say anything about it because I don't want to spoil anybody who hasn't watched it either um, but yeah as far as the lowland forms go uh, my speculation here and holding me out on this is that they're going to not produce any new mega evolutions I think I don't think they're done with mega evolution I think they're gonna be a part of um, of the game um, it's either that or you know they're cutting them completely um, but I don't think they'll do that. I definitely think they're gonna introduce Mega Evolution, but not having a part of the game. Uh, but they're not gonna do more Mega Evolutions, but they're going to ensure that Pokémon that are uh, less effective or less popular are going to get a second chance or a second wind. Now, Generation 1 Pokémon is what they're showing because that has the most nostalgic value. Uh, so I'll definitely see why they showcase them in this particular trailer. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna introduce at least like 12 more, uh, like a 15, 20 different Pokemon is gonna get the second win here. And uh, I really wanna see Tropius, of course. Uh, but as it stands now, you know, we see ice level evolutions here, and we see, of course, a grass Pokemon being larger. Uh, I can keep seeing grass Pokemon getting larger or more complex. I can see other Pokemon roaming somewhere else and becoming more complex. And uh, I think that has to do with the islands in mind. So with that said guys, definitely stay tuned for that because I think this is Game Freak's way of actually reviving older Pokemon or less effective Pokemon. And showcasing Generation 1 Pokemon doesn't necessarily mean that it's just going to be a Generation 1 Pokemon that's going to get retyped. That's not the case, that the most nostalgic value is a very clear reason as a market value that they're showcasing this first to make of course these player be introduced here in next generation because let's face it Pokemon Go was not introduced too long ago and the new players that played that game does not know anything about a Jurafari no way in hell so um, yeah I think they're doing this as a market stunt and it works it works it got a lot of people excited he's a freaking eye slash come on that that's like top of the mile list at least so yeah, what are you guys' speculation about that? Um, don't talk anything about the Pokedex leak, obviously, because I don't see how it fair the purpose, but about the low form, form, something you've seen here in the trailer that you want to kind of reach out on, make sure to write it down in the comments below. And with that said, I want to thank everyone, of course, for watching. I hope you like this video. I know it's a bit late, but then again, vacation. I don't know. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching. Nintendo, don't block this in the whole world. I really want my videos to be around. Not like you watch this anyway. Anyway, guys, take care. <laughs> Bye.